I'm Worth Weller. I'm your sociology instructor for this term, and I think you're going to really enjoy the class. I know I love teaching this. I have tons and tons and tons of experience teaching students over the Internet and these kinds of topics, and I'm just looking forward to being with you this, this term. Uh, this is a very fast-moving class, and there's a lot of reading, so I encourage you to get into Blackboard often and early and uh, do your work regularly. The class is designed as units. And uh, so some of the units are like one week, some are two weeks, some are even three weeks. So you have some time to kind of work through things. But if you don't work steadily, the class will get ahead of you. We're trying to cover a lot of material in a very compressed period of time. Uh, sociology is a, a wonderful field, a wonderful science. Uh, it helps you live. It helps you learn how to live. It tells you a lot about life around you. It tells you about other people. It tells you about yourself. It tells you about your relationships. It, uh, in essence, it really makes you a, a better citizen, a better student, a better spouse, a better significant other, a better friend, a better parent. Uh, better child even of your own elderly parents and it just tells you a lot of things about the world that you're going to just find very useful all of your life okay and this is why universities always encourage you to take a course like this um, as I said there's a lot of reading the class unfolds via learning modules when you get into blackboard you'll see there's a learning module for each unit and that learning module is basically a word document that walks you through everything you're expected to do in that unit okay and it gives you the learning goals the learning objectives it gives you the readings and then it gives you basically the tasks that you're going to perform to complete that unit. There's also a document called the course schedule and that course schedule tells you the uh, details when things are due which is very helpful. So basically you always want to have your course schedule out in front of you and you basically want to go into the uh, uh, learning module, the course content, where the learning modules are, uh, Unit 1, Unit 2, Unit 3, Unit 4. Open those up one at a time. Look at the learning uh, document that's in there, the learning module, and make sure you understand what to do during that unit. The uh, units are dated for you, so you just look right there in Blackboard to see what the dates are. And I think it unfolds in a pretty logical fashion. We will meet generally once a week, not every week because there's some vacation time, that kind of thing. Uh, we'll meet once a week. And um, I'll you know talk to you, go over some concepts, go over what to do, that kind of a thing, and help you out. If you cannot attend those live sessions, they're not out of real convenient time. I'm sorry, they're Monday afternoons at two. That's all I could do, and uh, they're recorded. So you get the same credit, same class participation credit for reviewing the recording as you do for actually attending the live session. In either case, you'll turn in at the end of the week a summary of of that class session, either if you viewed it or attended live. And that way, I know you were there. Okay, and I know you got something out of it. Uh, basically, the most intensive part of the course, besides the reading, is the fact that you have multiple discussion topics every single week. These are topics that I present to you. I present some details. I tell you what I'm looking for. Then I ask you to engage that topic, three or four paragraphs usually, in Blackboard discussion uh, forums. I also ask you, require you to respond to two of your peers uh, about their, what they thought about that same topic. Okay, So basically every week you're going to have a minimum of four discussion topics and you're going to have to make three comments or replies or posts or threads, whatever they're called, one of your own, an initial, an initial commentary of your own to the topic per se, and then two responses to what students said, you know, your peers said about that topic. So that's pretty much how the discussions work, and I'll repeat that. So in order to get a good grade in the class, please keep up the discussions, make sure you get the required number in there. I basically count them, I check for some content, I'll send you some audio files, uh, some podcasts about my own comments on your comments, rather than making individual comments. But I'll be in there, I'll be there kind of lurking, I'll be there looking, making sure you work, and at the end of the week, I'll make some comments of my own on what you all had to say. So that's pretty it. I'm available during the week, 9 to 5. Give me a call. If you don't understand something, don't call me in the evening, please, please, and don't call me on the weekends. But I'm going to enjoy teaching this course, and I, I know you are going to like the way I assess, the way I grade. I'm very fair. If you do the work, you get the grade. That's the way the course is designed. So, hey, enjoy.